So these are literally trash. These were meant to be thrown in the garbage. No one in their right mind would keep these, and that is why they are worth some good money. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at some items that are literally trash. They're garbage. They're meant to be trashed every single time you run into one of these. Now, a large chunk of what we sell are obviously vintage items and stuff like that. Collectibles. A lot of people may not assume certain items are highly collectible. Now, the items I'm going to show you today, again, were literally meant to be discarded. These are used items I'm going to show you. Now, this one right here, I'll give you a second to look at what it says. It's l and Dining Car Services. l and is a railroad line. And what is this? What is this little glassine envelope here? This is for a sandwich. This is a sandwich wrapper from their dining car service from the 1920s. Now, why would you think that would be worth anything, I guess, would be the point. It still even has a couple particles of bread in the inside of this, which is really kind of neat to me uh, because it's a hundred year old, almost pieces of bread inside this, but this was only available like this on a dining car for the Allen N line for a limited amount of time. Now these were made in quantity. Every train line for Allen N that had a dining car had these and they used them for years and years and years and years. But 99.9999% of every one of these was discarded after someone ate the sandwich. Who keeps these? It's a bigger item. It just doesn't slide into your purse. So every time I run into these, these sorts of things from trains, even airplanes sometimes, steamships as well for the cheaper classes. Um, but these are usually worth 30 to say 50 or 60 bucks a piece because there's none of these around hardly. So if you run into these, they go for some good money. I'm going to show you some that may surprise you that you may actually run into in a few minutes here, though. Now, this is just one of the items here we're going to look at. We're going to look at one other one here, and you might be surprised on these. Now, this right here is a used napkin. It's, it's been used. It's a napkin that has some food particles that have been caked on it in a few spots. It's got some issues with it. It's vintage, though. It's 1920s. It's Halloween. Denison is probably who made this as well. Even has a hole in it. I could still, even in this condition, just like this, with the witch and the scenery on it, I could iron this out and make it look a lot nicer. But this could get me, even with that hole, 35 to 45 bucks very easily. A good condition one of these, it's like in mint condition with some nice graphics, cray paper as well. You want the early cray paper ones could easily get you 75 bucks one single one people will use these for things and stuff like that now i've got quite a few i'm just going to show you a couple of them here just so we don't waste a bunch of time and it's redundant to show you a whole bunch but this just gives you an idea these again are all from the 1920s or very early 1930s they're used someone went to a party i would imagine and saved a bunch of these now it's not a super strange item to run into I've run into hundreds, hundreds, pro probably even on the border of a thousand or more various types of paper napkins. I've sold them for all sorts of different things. Um, Halloween, I usually do the best in. There's steamships that will turn up in um, from restaurants, uh, places like that. Transportation-related ones usually go for the most money. If that was an L&N &N paper napkin, I could have got the same amount for this and the napkin. 35 to 45 50 bucks for a napkin from this line paper napkin because most of the time if it was the fine dining on a on a railroad it would be a cloth napkin so you don't see them they would have been logoed those would be worth some money as well but these are honestly items that i even see people throwing away right now not thinking anything of it. I've pulled some of these out of scrap heaps of stuff that was being thrown away when I was going through some estate sales ahead of time. And I told them, look, that's worth some money. And they started saving them for me just because I let them know I was honest with them about pricing on stuff. So there's sources to get these. They do turn up if you know where to look quite often. Let's look at some and let's show you the actual values, the real values of these literally trash items that were meant to be thrown in the garbage. 
Now, most of the time when I bring up napkins or something with somebody, I'm out in public somewhere or we're chatting on the phone with somebody, this is the type of thing that they're going to assume I'm talking about, these prepackaged ones, which I run into as well. I usually don't find Halloween, but I have run into them on many occasions. Same thing with Christmas. Now, these sealed packages from the 60s, this may even border into the 70s or even 80s, believe it or not, on some of these. 50 bucks is a, is a fairly common price for these. They still turn up. I've even found some vintage ones that were worth good money at thrift stores, still sealed, as well as like um, old-timey Hallmark stores. They've had them in the back. It's been in clearance or a box sale or uh, scrapbooking sales or even school supply sales because schools will make like toys and things out of them or Halloween decorations for like a kindergarten class and they'll do things like that with them. So these are always things that I personally look for. I find them quite often. So it's always on my list because they turn up fairly often in all honesty, at least some form of these. Here's yet another one. Now this one's obviously older just by the color. This would probably be 1930s or 40s and it borderline looks like it is probably crepe paper as well but it went for 84 bucks and that's on an open bid now anything tied to halloween decoration wise will get you some good money there are similar styles of witches and yeah cauldrons and jack-o-lanterns jols they, they call them in here the paper plate is phenomenal large amounts of these i tend to sell individually i wouldn't list them uh super super cheap either plates like that i've sold for 50 bucks on their own the napkins as i've said i can easily get 35 to say 50 bucks a piece now here is an example of a denison and this is probably the maker of the ones that i showed you typically of what you see this is crepe paper as well you've got the cauldron the whole works the moon is is very exotic for something like this with bids, with multiple bidders, it sold for $60. And here's yet another example of these. You can see the different sizes, styles, and color schemes. The orange ones are fairly popular, as is the white one on the top with the silhouettes. Silhouettes are one of the most common things you will find in these sorts of things. This, again, probably dates to the 30s or 40s. It may be a denison. It is a crepe paper. So may do better with these, selling them individually in all honesty. Now, not only will you find the napkins for this made out of crepe paper like this one here, but you also find like skirts for tables and wall decorations made out of crepe paper, just like this one. This is a really fine example of some great graphics, not in the best condition. Any of these, even if it's just a chunk of one, not even enough to go around a table, can go for some really good money. This lot, the napkin and just partial skirt, sold for $227. This is the type of thing that you can still turn up today that will get you some good money. Most people just assume it's some ratted out piece of paper and it won't carry a value. Here's yet another one. Now this one has some issues. It may have some damage to some extent, some white spots on it. Now these were all again meant to be thrown away. This wasn't something that was meant to be kept. And that's why it's worth so much money, because there's very few of them around. This one sold for almost $190, and it's just a chunk, a section of one of these. Now, here's a prime example of one of the most expensive varieties. This is a striped version with the silhouettes across it. This one's by Denison as well. It's cray paper. This one sold for $140 for one single sheet of a napkin. And this is just a prime example. Now, size dictates value to some extent. So the larger these are, the higher price they usually go, again, if the graphics are correct. No fading, it's in excellent condition. So that, again, adds to the value. Now, when it comes to sandwich wrappers, like the first one I showed you from l &N, the dining car service one there, you won't find many of them up for sale because most people don't assume they carry a value. Other folks who run into these may not even know what they are. Just looking up sandwich wrapper here in Terapeak on eBay, you're going to find just a scattered few. Interesting enough, like this one here is a 1970s McDonald's filet of fish the wax paper sandwich wrapper. This is a newer version of that, and it's just a standard wrapper. A filet of fish, there would have been less of them made than the typical burger. A, a wrapper from Burger King from the 70s can easily get you 10 20 $30. These are fairly scarce, so 40 45 bucks is probably the average price I've seen these sell for 
again, you have to list it at those prices. Usually what most people run into and which are far more common are some of the ice cream sandwich wrappers. Many cases you may actually run into them where the wrapper hasn't been used. Now, why would that be? Because these were actually put into the wrapper at, say, an ice cream shop. This is Mr. Softy, so this is probably one of the Mr. Softy's soda fountain shops or something. And they would take one of these ice cream sandwiches out of a big package and slide one into here, and that's how they would be distributed. So they're not worth as much as like a sandwich wrapper or anything else like that, but they are out there and they do sell for decent money. This is literally a piece of garbage. This was meant to be thrown in the garbage at the place of purchase. And again, here's another one. This is a Denver sandwich. It's a candy bar or ice cream. Most wrappers, if they're early enough, they're in decent condition, wax wrappers or glassine or whatever the case may be, 35 to 50 bucks on average for every one we've ever sold. Again, if you list them for 10 bucks, you're going to get 10 bucks out of them. If you list them for 50, you're going to get that price or at least better than the 10 bucks you would have got if that's all you placed on it. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. the human shape